morning everyone, Tony here from Her Homestead Skills. I've decided to go out and get another 50 pounds or a bushel of tomatoes. So this will be my last batch for the season. I'm going to be doing a lot of setup again. I also uh, purchased uh, some more jars so they'll all have to be washed. My machine will have to be set up. Uh, if you've already seen this process, in my last video and you don't care to see it that's fine but I will be uh, filming this one last uh, tomato processing for the season so that's it for now and yes so much for yeah this is my canning hoarder personality coming out again um, one thing that I do do is try to, when I buy them in quantities like this, is that I try to put the, the new rings aside and, and use the old ones until they're worn out. Obviously, the lids, as long as I don't have an emergency situation, I use new every time. But yeah, if I was a pinch and there was none available, I would uh, reuse. I used one even though they tell you you're not supposed to. It's been done and not just by me, by many people. And you just pick out the ones that are in really good shape. But I have more than enough lids available right now. All these jars came with new lids, so they just need to be washed. The rings I will put away and storage and continue to use my older rings until I end up tossing them out when they get too um, not nice, you know, warm, whatever. So yes, I don't know why they pack this one because it is such a pain to undo but I guess it keeps the insides of the jars fairly clean. Although, you still have to wash them. But I guess, it, as I said, it does keep the insides fairly clean. There's no visible filth in them. So. Oh, okay. I'll we'll have to set these up first and... Uh, then get some water on the stove to boil. Okay, my machine is set up. My buckets are ready. My um, rings have been washed. Or sorry, the lids have all been washed. Set aside. All my jars have been washed. I have two pots on the stove to blanch all the tomatoes. They're almost boiling. I have my colanders ready to put them in. I have all my jars washed. So now I just have to wash my tomatoes. I've got a sink full of water and I'll be washing my tomatoes in a minute. Boiled. 
Yeah, this 50 pounds should go fairly quickly. I'm going to pick that up before I step in it and burn myself. You know? Okay, so all the tomatoes are washed and some of them have already been blanched. Yep, the second bunch is already just about ready to come out. So we're going to do that and then we'll start up the machine very soon. And we'll show you that process again. So this bunch is ready to come out. to reload the pot as soon as this punch comes out. And I think I want to put a couple of these tomatoes aside as well and take seed from them. I really like these tomatoes. And if I have the opportunity to grow them myself as opposed to buy them. And these are definitely an heirloom. There's some horizontal. They're fairly common. And I have bought seeds of this brand before. They just seemed a little bigger, where these seems a little tighter and a little plumper and a little meatier. So, yeah, I really like these tomatoes. Once again, I don't know what the... Uh, Specific. I know there's San Marzano. I don't know if there is a uh, another cultivar for them or another name for them. They are an heirloom type tomato. So yeah, this is going to go pretty quick today. I've got half as much as I did in the last load, so... Okay, now I'm going to turn the uh, camera around and focus on something else here. There we are. Okay, first load into the machine. And yes, it is a bit of a messy process. That's why I try to clear everything out of the way first. And this will splash up at me. I should really have an apron. is the last squeeze of the season.
Okay, so that's it. Now I'm going to get this machine out of the way. And we'll get the jars ready to be filled. Okay, now for the fun part. Uh, I've got this long handled utensil. I think it's a barbecue thingy that anyway I'm just gonna use it to stir up this mixture so that it's all even. Not too watery on for one jar and not too thick for another. So I'm sure it's fine, but I still like to stir it up. Okay. And we did manage to get um, a whole five gallon bucket full of sauce. As you can see, that's pretty darn full here. So, anyway, don't know how many jars we're going to get. We should get close to that 36 that I do have set aside there. And if we need a few more, I do have a few more available. So, well, here's the process. Oh, need a funnel. I thought I had everything. Not quite. Okay. Funnel. Sauce. Leave half an inch headspace. Tomato sauce, and especially done this way, does seem to have a fair bit of air in it. So um, I'm a little reluctant to leave more than just a half inch headspace because uh, it will uh, show itself in the process of when it's canned. Anyway, so this is all I'm doing now is filling up the jars and then we will wipe off the rooms with some, now that one might be a bit too full. So then after that we'll wipe off the rooms with some uh, vinegar, put a lid on, put a ring on and my lids and rings are sitting here. My vinegar is here. So why don't we do a little bit of that right now. Okay, I've got a spoon here to remove a little bit of sauce from the one that I fill too much. Got my paper towel and vinegar. Wipe the rim. This is that new hoard of jars that I bought. Every one of them has been washed. Lids are sitting in water. And all new lids. And as I said, I do like to reuse the old rims for as long as I can get away with using them. Now I also have two Presto canners on the stove heating up. It's going to take more than one to do this job. Okay, so this is the process, and let's see here now. Yes, we want to get them into the canner before it gets too hot. So anyway, I'm going to get these filled as quickly as I can, as quickly and as efficiently as I can, and then put them all in the canner. Okay, another batch of grape uh, tomatoes is dehydrated, and another at least 20 pounds of it left to go. I think it'll get to the point where if I never see another grape, if I never see another tomato, I won't be sorry. But yeah, I'm sure I won't feel that way until the next season when I start all over again. So yeah, I'm very tired today. I have canned 36 jars of San Marzano tomatoes for tomato sauce, for tomato pasta, sauce, for chili, for 
pizza sauce. Yeah, it's, it's all good. I mean, I have 36 jars this time, I think 72 the last time, and uh, at least another 50. I have more than enough to last me 18 months, which is what I do want. Uh, perhaps, the way my husband's been wanting pasta these days, I was a little afraid I wouldn't have enough, but I'm sure I do. And uh, yeah, it's all good. And until next year.